Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the All About Favor channel. I'm your host, Pastor KZ. At the end of the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Give me some thumbs up, comments, like, and share the video. Please, I welcome your comments as well as your emails. Walk in favor 61 at yahoo.com. Y'all, we're going to close this week out. I'm wearing, again, my favorite character, the Grinch pajamas. So those of you who have your pajamas on, Keep them on. Walk around all day with them on. You're entitled. And I have my snowman cup with my decaf coffee in it. How y'all doing today? I know a lot of you have been saying, I just scratched the surface this week with the topic for the men. But I promise you in the upcoming year, I am going to devote more time to my videos so I can give you a little bit more meat and potatoes instead of just dangling you with an appetizer. Is that okay? So, Today's video, I'm going to pause on the topic, the food for thought for the men. I want us, as we prepare for the upcoming holidays, I wanted to just address something very important. Now, I know just from some of the emails that I've received, some of you, you know, you're not looking forward to the holidays. You're kind of dreading Christmas because a lot of you have expressed it's different reasons. Some people are dreading the holidays because you're going to be missing certain loved ones for the first time. Or even some people say, you know what? My parents been gone 10 years and it feels like yesterday sometime, especially around the holidays. Y'all, <clears throat> some of you have had some ups and downs this year. Some highs, some lows. Many of you, you have lost loved ones. And that's never easy. But I want it to take today to just let somebody know that no matter what you're going through, it's going to turn around. Things will get better. I want to say this. Y'all may not realize the importance of this, but y'all, depression is real. Unresolved grief is real. Pent-up anger is real. When you're despondent, you're depressed, you're frustrated, you're discouraged, those are real situations. And when you compile those on having financial problems, health problems, some of you in school having issues with school, your financial aid is not right, your housing is not right, different things in life, it produces those results of depression, anger, frustration. And now we're coming upon one of the major holidays designated in a lot of countries, especially this country, and I know some of you out there saying, well, I don't do Christmas and holidays. The holidays are too commercialized, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you on that. But the fact of the matter is that even if it's commercialized, it is the day set aside to celebrate the birth of Christ. Like it or lump it, okay? When some of you are sitting here over-spiritualizing this thing, to me, well, they missed the point. It's not about the gifts. It's about the gift of the birth of Christ. Let's not over, over religious, be religious about this. Because you know what? It is a time for giving. It is the season of giving. It is the one time out the year. Maybe you haven't been able to afford birthday gifts and, and anniversary gifts. It's the one time out of the year you give a gift. Now, it doesn't matter how big or small the gift is. It could just be a bag of fruit. But the fact that you've given it from your heart. Some of you have missed that. Now, let me say this. There's a lot of people struggling right now. And a lot of people are not looking forward to Christmas because these people, some of them really enjoy giving, but life has happened and they can't afford to this year. Some people have to make a decision. Am I going to buy my medication or am I going to eat today? Some people, everybody insurance don't cover everything. There's some people, I heard a lady the other day in the drugstore, her out of pocket for one medication was over $200. And that lady is standing there with tears in her eyes because she knows if I don't get my, my medication, I don't want to be sick or end up in the hospital or worse. And when you see those things, it touches your heart and you begin to say, you know what? When you think about it, you realize, you know what? I am so blessed. Some of you are missing your blessing. 
you're not even acknowledging the blessing that you have. Some of you have the you have been blessed with good health, but what about the person who's not? The hospitals are full. People going getting surgical procedures every day. People being misdiagnosed every day and on medications that's actually making them sick. So the holiday time for some people, they're not happy. They're not emotionally up and cheerful. And we got to understand when a person is not in the same place that you are in emotionally, physically, and spiritually, don't lose sight that there's somebody out there worse off than you. Don't lose that sight. But I do believe that this new year, this upcoming year, I believe things are going to turn around for you. I believe things will get better. I am not saying some bad things won't happen in societies all over. That's to be expected. But I believe some of you, your wellness, your emotional states, is going to change. Now, some of you are saying some negative things have happened. And then you got the people say, don't speak negative. Don't put that in the atmosphere. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes you have to talk about negative things in order to heal from them. Sometimes things are necessary that you speak out and begin to manage and modify so you can get healed. Some people don't want to hear the truth. Some people don't want to deal with the truth. Some people hide from the truth and you've stuffed down some things so many years. And then one day when you see a person just explode and it seems like they go crazy and they having a meltdown, that's from years of buildup and it just combust. That's why I emphasize journaling and I emphasize getting therapy I emphasize your prayer time and your spiritual wellness. Y'all, let me say this. There's someone out there watching this video. you confused. Or maybe you're just sick and tired of your life, the way things are going in your life. Some of you are despondent. You're depressed. You can't get going. You don't know. You know something is broken, but you don't know how to fix it. Or you don't want to think about it because it's too painful. If you think about it, you're afraid. I'll start. You're afraid I'm going to start crying and I'm going to break down. Sometimes the breakdown is necessary. Y'all got to understand, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, sometimes your tears are cleansers. Sometimes when you really break down and you have that meltdown, now the healing can start. Now we can get to the root of this, and now we can start working on what really is the problem. So I want y'all to understand that we're going to close out the year with a positive note that things are going to turn around. But it's okay to be honest when things aren't going well. It's okay to be honest and say, man, it's something broken inside of me that needs fixing. And I don't want to go into new year with all of this. I want to work on this this upcoming year. Some of you need healing and not just with your blood pressure and not just with your diabetes, your fibromyalgia, your lupus. Some of you need healing in other areas. Emotions. Whatever it is that's stressing you out, whatever it is that you're worrying about, whatever it is that you're holding on to, there's some things, y'all, you got to let go. Some of you have this unforgiving spirit in you. Some of you are still walking around bitter and angry with people. And some of those people have already gone on to be with the Lord. And you're still walking around with that in you. Some of you holding grudges. Don't go into the new year with that. Purpose in your spirit that I'm not going to walk in that this new year. Life is too short. Life is too precious. God has been too good to you to keep doing this. It's time for you to move forward, move on, and let some stuff go so that you can be healed. You've got to release some stuff. And if you're in a situation you don't want to be in, ask yourself, what you going to do about it? Are you going to stay there? Stop complaining if you're going to stay there. And figure out a way to make it okay for you to be there. All I'm doing is just giving you some food for thought. Now, I pray that you all have a wonderful holiday and be able to spend some time with your friends or families. And some people say, I just, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to make me a nice seafood dinner and I'm just going to stay in my pajamas all day and just relax. It's nothing wrong with that either. 
It is nothing wrong with that. Do what makes you happy. Stop trying to please everybody because you know what? Sometimes some people, no matter what you do, you're not going to make them happy. Start working on yourself. Work on your self-care because self-care is the best care. We got a new year coming up and we're going to pray that the Most High lets us all cross over into the new year. But the new year, we're going to be a better version of ourselves. Y'all, Pastor Casey loves on you. And you know what? I have over 8,000 of you subscribers. I appreciate all of you and thank all of you for your support that you have just taken the time to watch my videos. Just I'm just a little country girl from, from Alachua County, y'all. But I want you to know this. There is love in my heart and compassion in my heart. And even those of you who can't reach out to me by phone, I give you my email address each week. Feel free to reach out to me via email. And my email address is walk, W-A-L-K-N, the letter N, favor, F-A-V-O-R, 61 at yahoo.com. I would love to hear from you. And you know what? Things are going to turn around. It's going to be a better year. You know what? I'm going to be here to make sure that I encourage you and I inspire you. No judgment zone here. You're free and you're safe. Whatever you write in your emails is confidential. I will not use your names unless you specifically tell me to use your name. And to my boy by who started this whole boy by t-shirt of mine, much love to you, my brother. You sent me a beautiful, beautiful gift in advance. Thank you so much for the gift card. And those of you who watch my TikTok videos, the Cat Lady 12, that's who I am on TikTok, and I do my cat videos. Oh, I thank you all so much for your love. For those of you who, who brought cat food, who sent gift cards, cat toys, all of that, offered to uh, help pay for the spay and neuter of them. Y'all, I just started adopting these cats and loving on them. They, they're strays, but they're, they're my strays. Thank you all so much. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, thank you so much for your support. Who knew that a little old girl from Alachua County would have over 8,000 people watching her on social media. Thank you all so much. Much love to you all from me and from my family. We love you and thank you so much. To my godchildren, I love you so much. And to my stepchildren, I love you all equally. So thank you all so much. All of my family, my siblings, my aunts and uncles that remains here on this side, Thank you all so much for your continued encouragement. Do y'all know it means so much when people encourage you, give you encouraging words, uplifting words, because sometimes people can be rather cruel. People can make these little comments, even in a social media platform, they can say some horrible things and you got to have thick skin, but you know what? You still got to have love in your heart and understand sometimes people say mean things to you because they're coming from a place of hurt they're not happy with themselves so they feel like they get off on trying to demean you or make you feel bad but you know what i just thank god for all of the, the people out there that have have been in my corner from day one and for the those who walked away from me those who've abandoned me those who have been disloyal to me and mistreated me i thank god for you too because you know what it was through some of the things you said about me or you said to me or you did to me that has kept me on my knees and it kept elevating me so i thank god for you as well like they say you have to sometimes use your haters for motivators so thank you haters and thank you for motivating me in addition to all of the ones who love on me y'all keep up all of your hard work with your journals some of you are making really good progress keep the emails coming now i won't be on um the weekend and i won't be back until i think maybe new year's eve i think i'll be on i need a little vacay too just like you need some family time and some me time but you know what if i start missing y'all too much and i feel your energy that you're missing me i might come on for a little bit hey happy holidays have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Don't forget, look at some of those Christmas shows. One of my favorite, the Charlie Brown Christmas. 
that's one of my favorite the charlie brown christmas him and that tree and lucy just gets me every time frosty the snowman rudolph i cry when i watch that and of course the grinch i so love that movie y'all have a wonderful blessed holiday and you know what show some love for somebody else have a great one i'll see you back